Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and this is Colonel Space Program. Uh, we start today on the launch pad uh, where Haydo and Bob uh, sat inside the uh, Cortex Jerp Mark III, um, which, is, uh, which is the ship that previously successfully circumnavigated the planet in an orbital styly. I'm hoping that we'll be able to do that again. Now here's the thing, is that I don't remember this ship having uh, a crew hatch on there. It's got one though, um, and therefore we have to assume it worked. I, I went and rewatched the video and it and it certainly looked like the Mark III was the one that uh, that worked. Well, sticks stability on there <clears throat> while I pontificate here at the opening of the uh, at the opening of the mission. Why you may ask? Are we using this here rocket to do this here mission? Well, it's really quite straightforward. Is I want Hado to get a level of experience and therefore completing an orbit will most likely assist with that. Now, the big problem we've got right now is that our uh, our reputation is zero. We have zero reputation now, having murdered some uh, some some uh, some tourists, and uh, and and therefore the missions that we're being offered are, are somewhat lackluster. Uh, but I definitely want to get uh, Hado another level of experience, so that I don't have to be in control of everything. Because I think we've established that me being in control of things doesn't tend to work out very well. And uh, and therefore, having an expert on board is probably going to help. So given that we've got a crew cabin, I've brought Bob along. And Bob's been on quite a few missions and then been told to get off the rocket again afterwards. So, it, you know, he said, I'll oh, go on, let me come along. And therefore, on his own head be it. What's, what's that over there? That's, the, that's a bit of Pingu Niner. Um debris. I'm not even entirely sure what a Pingu Niner is, but there's some debris for it. Anyway, we're, we're ready to go. Blast off. Five, four, three, two, one. See, activating there, bang on the money. Uh, right. I've not thought this through. <laughs> I say that as though it's, you know, that would be in some way unusual. Right, the main rocket is, uh, is throttled limited to, to 50%. Uh, so it's uh, you know it, it, it's not contributing much right now, but rather than rather than simply burning fuel uh, on the main boosters, only to run out and have to rely on the main engine, uh, we're just we're just going to leave that alone. I am not touching anything until we break into the the, the either this kind of middling blue. Let's uh, set that correctly. Uh, either this middling blue or the darker blue there. We can just go straight up in the flipping air until that point, and then uh, and then we'll start to adjust things accordingly. In fact, I'm going to start to. Why why would you do that? Uh, I don't know. Uh, anyway, you're going to want to go a bit like just be very very gentle with it. Okay, well we're done with those, so get rid of them. For once, they didn't collide with one another. Throttle up so that we're still accelerating. Throttle right up please so we're we're not quite yeah oh, there we go we've got just enough throttle to maintain what we're doing already right let's turn the stability off which is you know clever and then just ease her over here onto the uh, onto a trajectory that hopefully makes some sense uh, do that i don't think this is going to work but what's not gone wrong so far is we haven't killed everybody so, you know, so that's a good place to start. All right, we are now picking up speed again as the atmosphere gets thinner. We're coming up on half a tank of fuel left. Uh, we, it would be good to be going just a smidge faster than this, but that's okay. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Like that. Right, hold it there, would you, Hado? That would be, that would be super. We are properly, properly tall now. Uh, we only need to get to 70,000 to be on a, a, a solidly orbital trajectory. Uh, so let's have a look at that. Uh, no, that's, that's evidently not the button you wanted. Try this one. Okay, now then. The old apoapsis there is at 66. We want it to get to beyond 70, and then we can start to think orbital maneuverings. And... Uh, and that that's that's good. I probably want to. There we go. That's that's nice. Go back to staging mode. Let's uh, let's trim the engine down to something. Whoa! No! 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 Keep 
That's it. Keep accelerating, but don't don't rinse the fuel too much. Because now, now you've, you've I, I thought that was the button. It's not. That's the button. So now we need to uh, extend the radius uh, of our uh, of our journey, and we're probably going. Oh, hold on, well, we can we can do that from here. Is that still pulling outwards? It's still pulling outwards. All right. Yeah. Keep going like that. So about that. So about that. There you go. How's that looking? Okay, well, we are extending it. That's good. Now, I've got another rocket stage still to fire. So, you know, with the things like... No, no, you're, you're pulling it in. So, uh, so where's that? Where's that up that way just a bit more? Like that. There you go. Yeah, keep the keep that moving upwards. Otherwise, you're, you're liable to, uh, to spank it into the ground. Or rather, have a have a somewhat hasty re-entry, which is not exactly what we've got in mind here. That's that's good. I'm very much hoping I can do this successfully. But you know, history dictates that doing. Whoa, 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 whoa! Why would you even do that? Put it back as it was. You're now heading directly up in the air. That's too. You've made too big a maneuver. Too big a maneuver. There's just to about there is grand. Right, go out of staging mode. Alright. No, 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 that's not the button you wanted. You wanted the go faster button. Go for the go faster button. There you go. Absolutely cane it on the main engine. Uh, because, you know, that could that could help. It might not, but it, might, it could. It feels feels promising so far. I, I am yet to, uh, to give up hope on this. Right, throw that away. And then throttle down quite a bit fire the second engine there you go yeah yeah three and just just a smidge of thrust here please there you go right okay now then where are we going have we done it yet no no not even close no it's not even close is it Don't, and we want that we really did want that to be moving yes you did so, how are you going to accomplish that, then? Um, oh, well, not not by going up in the air. You need this to be... Uh, to be. We, want, we, all, we pretty much want to be on the line here. That's it, right there. That's good. Is it, though? Or are you are you coming in for a, for a landing? Uh, I don't know. Because you're, you're also... You're going quite... No, you're coming, you're coming down there, Tiger. You're going to need to be going up, up some more. All right, so head it into the blue. Oh, I think we've I think we've hosed this. I think we're going to come in early, right about there. Right about there, we'll do the job beautifully. If you can nudge uh, yonder yellow whatnot in the right direction. In fact, what I, what's this what's this light blue business? I don't know, but it feels positive. Let's head generally towards that. Uh, how are we doing? Yeah, you're coming in. I don't want to come in. No, I want to be. I want to be heading up, up, up on the way. All right. Well, you're going to have, head towards blue directly and see if that rectifies things, and then get back on controls and uh, grip it and rip it. Give it the full burn. Now I know you don't really want to use the full burn here, and I tell you what. While we're at it, have a quick look at the mystery goo. We don't. We, I'm not entirely sure the mystery goo is going to make it back. Also, we've we've learned more or less everything there is to learn about this particular stage of adventures. Now we're still coming in, still coming in. Didn't quite. I didn't push the angle right. Ah, we are going. We're going back up again. We're going back up again. But this has cost me a hell of a lot of fuel. So if I look at this now, the apoapsis is. Oh, there we go. It's zipping out like an absolute bandit. Great. All right, toggle that off. Ease it down. 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 We've got a, a little bit of manoeuvring juice left. Let's leave that alone and see what that's that's done to to proceedings. Not quite enough. Not quite enough. If, if we, well, let's let's go full righteous with it. This will either be enough or it won't. I suspect significantly that it's not enough, and therefore we. And that, that very much felt to me as though it was the end of the fuel. That was the end of the fuel. Right, okay. Well, in which case, get rid of that. We don't need it anymore. And we just have to hope that the shoot arrangement I've got on here is sufficient 
uh, for this to uh, for this to work. Should we close the container? No. Uh, what else can we have a look at while we're here? Oh, let's let's check the pressure. Uh, we, how's the how's the pressure? Uh, pressure's boring. All right. Well, we'll keep that. That's that's all good. Uh, yes, and then the temperature is probably what we've expected, given that you've taken the temperature up here on numerous occasions. Right. Well, we don't have. Oh, we don't have a heat shield. Now, when I did this before, I didn't need a heat shield because I used the thrusters to slow us down a little bit. That's all I say, thrusters. The main engine. We use the, the main engine to slow us down quite a bit. And there we go. We are now. Go. We're going to come in at quite a lick. I think is the uh, is the technical speed description there. Yeah, I'm I'm very sorry, Bob, but uh, in all honesty, things don't look great for you. Uh, as a second level of honesty, things don't look great for anybody at this stage. Um, now I have got a drogue shoot, and therefore I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna rip it now. On the basis that, uh, well, I've, I've, I've pressed the pressed the whatnot, um, but but it's on the on the basis of. All right, I've I've ripped everything. This is I've I've I'm feeling the fear. I'll be honest with you. I'm not I'm not that confident that this is going to end well. In, I, I'm I'm starting to. Oh no! Look at the door. Oh, oh no! Oh dear! Okay, something big just fell off. No, no, that was, that was just doing the speed of sound. Okay, well, I've told the parachutes to deploy. Yeah, we are at least slowing down a bit. Well, that's, that's lovely and everything. That was not, was that the speed of sound? No, that was your experiments falling off the side of the ship. Okay, well, that's that's not the end of the world. Now, I just hope that my, my parachute deployments that that we did there haven't actually hosed us by trying to deploy early uh, have I killed us well we're coming in at speed the parachutes are non-responsive all crumbs yeah alright okay well look that's yeah alright yeah uh, the, the shoot was destroyed by uh, by aero forces. Well, that's not a mistake I've made before. Um, hey, but we came in. It wasn't it impressive the way we came in there? Uh, I'm quite pleased that nothing blew up uh, on the way in, other than me panicking a little bit and deploying the shoot. Uh, can we, we can we recover that? Oh no, 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 it just gave me the the, the sad mission state status there of, of now you killed everyone again. Oh, I'm I'm sorry about that. It wasn't my intention. I, honestly, yeah, that blew up. That blew up. Uh, right. The chute was destroyed. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'll go back to the... Go back to the... No, 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 no. I didn't want to revert. Oh, poo. No. I don't, my, that was... That, sorry, that was a mistaken button press on my part. Um, my intent had not been to... Uh, to cheese that, I, 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 I was very much, I, I have always played this in a way that is, uh, you know, uh, you, you, you deal with the dice as they're thrown, you play the hand of cards that you've been dealt, and this time I've cheesed it, so, uh, so my apologies. Now then, you, what are you then? Are you, uh, I, I, I mean, you're good for, uh, for making planes. But are you also good for going into space? Why has this one got liquid on it? Because it's got some mono propellant. This one also has mono propellant, so that's clearly not it. Um, no, I don't, I don't. Oh, is it waterproof? That seems plausible. This one is less waterproof. Uh, the unit is equipped to ensure survival in some of the worst conditions possible, mm -hmm. like re-entry, maybe. Extra reinforcement has slightly increased the weight, 1.28, 0.84. Okay, so it's heavy. Right, okay. Well, look, if I'm going to do this again, 
let's let's try and get it right this time and i think what i did wrong was uh, was i should have allowed myself a little bit more uh, a little bit more orbital and that said there is a cortex jerp mark 1d uh, i noticed that when loading and i went well what's the 1d then because i was pretty sure the 1d uh, was the one that got us up in uh, well, hold on the alpha test is the one that actually did the loop did the did the orbit this is what Katniss flew to glory. I put, I loaded the wrong C. I, I loaded the beta rather than the alpha. Okay, right. Well, let's let's try that. Yeah, good for you, Hado. You get a reprieve. Um, you you could have you could have died horribly there, and you, in fact you did die horribly there. But I accidentally pressed the cheese it button. Um, and uh, and that was that was certainly not my intent. I'm going to assume everything is set correctly. Hit that. Hit this. Hit that. A blast off. There we go. Right. Business as usual. Now then, this is a tried and tested and true and trustworthy and uh, delightful rocket. I'm going to ease it a smidge in a direction so that we're not just going straight up. Are you are you insane? Well, look. The way I see it. Uh, the boy Hado is already dead so in fact this is a doing absolutely nothing so you might as well stick it back on again um, yeah and therefore since he's already dead then there is there is virtually nothing to be gained in uh, in trying to keep him alive oh interestingly ah, so this is I didn't even check the staging on this um, uh, the secondary engine here doesn't tr doesn't fire until we get rid of the three amigos Okay, well that's exciting. Right, let's throttle that up so we're good to go, because because uh, we're coming up on that moment pretty much now. And go. Oh, that's a that's a nice system. I'm fairly surprised they didn't all collide with each other. They used they usually incline towards collision. Right now then, where are we? We're it's slightly thin. Hey though, I'm taking the stick for a moment. Don't panic. Do that. Whoa, 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 whoa. There, go. Right. Okay. Right. We've we've made start. We've made some progress here. Let's have a look and see where we're uh, where we're actually uh, where we're actually heading. Up. Up's good. And in fact, the apoapsis is incredibly tall at the moment. So uh, uh, we're we're arguably a little bit more up than we actually want to be. What is the blue thing? What is the purple thing? I have absolutely no idea. I should look it up. I should get good at this, basically. I've launched enough of these things now. I mean, where are we? Episode 17, and uh, and I'm still routinely stacking it and going, oh, I don't know what happened there. Uh, this should be a formality at this point. I should not still be fighting just, you know, the most basic rocketry imaginable. Alright, okay, that looks good. That looks good. Right, if we edge towards blue here, that's going to bring that in, but elongate our flight path significantly. Oh, you're still losing speed. Why is that? I, sh I should be high enough that, that burning the main engine now gets us going at, at quite the rate. Alright, well look, we're elongating the flight path. That's good news. Uh, still picking up speed. That's also good news. And that is gently gently easing back uh, now as long as that stays above 70,000 that's all fine can I get a readout on my fuel while we're in this mode it's it's it is useful no okay never mind uh, e now ease it back yeah there we go and, and you're still picking up some little bit of velocity while at the same time uh, still still on task okay are you still on task though I don't know. I don't, honestly, I thought I had this. I thought I had the understanding of this. And it, it's been, what, three, four, five, half a dozen missions since uh, since we actually successfully did anything. All right, that's that's now heading out that way again. So what if we what if we pull in this way some? If uh, if my pilots were better trained, I wouldn't have to be working all of this out, you know. And I'm I'm working it out simply by trying to figure out what I'm doing while I'm doing it. Now, I've still got my secondary engine. We've, we've made good progress. 
but what we haven't done is it yet. All right. Well, look, that, that's not moving, right? And that should it should be moving. Oh, that's a very valid point, right? Yeah. If that's not moving, you haven't got it. All right. Well, let's let's grip it and rip it, uh, and and stop heading in that direction and start pulling it in a little bit, which will hopefully elongate our flight path. That needs to be getting away from you. Because that's the point at which you're starting to to uh, to decline again. Ah, oh, okay. No, no, that wasn't it. Oh well, well you're out of fuel on number one. All right, number one. Thank you for that. You've uh, you've done good works there. All right, let's ease away from it a bit, and then just a touch of go. All right, good. Now, no panicking in deploying the chutes early this time. I don't care how how much it looks like that might be necessary. All right, so now if we were to if we stayed above the artificial horizon, we're pointing further out into space. Then, as much as gravity is going to try and pull us in, along with our current trajectory, we should also be elongating our flight path, which we're not doing. Okay, well you're going to need you're going to need a more uh, a more abrupt maneuver upwards then, surely. Oh, you didn't have your engines on at all. And if, you've got, if you haven't got the engines on at all, then you're not actually going to accomplish anything at all. Okay, right, all right, well, keep doing that. That's that's still moving outwards. Okay, well, we've got to do... Well, the flight path is increasing. Flight duration. Flight duration is increasing. The length of flight is increasing. This was supposed to be easy. I was suppo This was supposed to be a, a one-and-done flight just to get us started. Ah, now, now it's it's giving chase. Look. Okay. All right. Good. So what I've done is I've I've transformed the direction of flight that we had into one that is now uh, pushing the boundary a bit. So maybe you go up until you hit apoapsis and then you rip it to to move the thing. No, that doesn't feel right to me. I think you need to be making that move a little bit sooner. Anyway, how are we doing on fuel? Over half a tank. Excellent. All right. Back to the map. Right, I think we're going to do this. I, I think this might work. I think you've spoken too soon. I think so too. But I still think... Oh, no, no, this is this is all looking promising. Because we've got this chap in hot pursuit. Yep. Yep, there we go. That's it. It's going to overtake any moment. I'm being very gentle with me. Fuel. There we go. So now we are moving up, upwards and outwards and sideways at the same time and we're about to get a full circle how's the fuel great fuel's fine the fuel is fine everybody the fuel is fine Hado is going to get an orbit and there she blows there you are right okay right cut throttle that looks good where's periapsis periapsis is too low uh, keep it keep it going outwards okay are you sure about that not a hundred percent no but we're gonna do it anyway right if we if we now adjust our heading that way a little bit what's that going to do to our to our angle of attack uh, good things right you are going to want to cut engines fairly soon though so that you can come in for another landing you're not a satellite that's that's not what we had in mind you are instead a very naughty Kerbin. Kerbin? A very naughty Kerbal who is uh, who is living their second life. There we go. Right, that's it. 71,000. That's full orbit achieved. Uh, right. Uh, how's, the, uh, how's the fuel situation? Uh, not brilliant, but adequate. All right, fine. In that case, up the tempo. Here we go. Let's, uh, let's do a circle, or at least at least a circle. Is that moving? It's not. That's not moving. This isn't moving. I think I might have actually got a stable orbit, which is what we were what we were sort of aiming for there. Now, what we're going to do to land is uh, is when I've had enough of this is uh, is we will uh, we will angle ourselves with the tail pointing in the direction of the direction of flight. We will then activate the boosters, the, well, what little remains of the engine, uh, to slow us down some, and then we'll let gravity 
take care of the rest of it. Yes. And if we're very lucky, that will work. If we're less lucky, well, I say we, if Hado is less lucky, uh, then uh, then what we'll, what we'll end up with there is um, is a, a chap who's, who's orbiting endlessly up until I can come and rescue him. And that's fine. Um, I'm I'm quite happy to come and rescue him as a as a separate standalone adventure. Yeah, you you're doing this now, aren't you? All right, let's let's prop up the tempo. Hey, oh, hold on, no. What's happening? Are you uh, no, you should you should be grand. Your altitude's absolutely banging. And there we go, going on another lap. Yeah, let's do some. Uh, while below one hundred twenty thousand meters, you can't go to uh, go to max speed. I bet we can now, though, can't we? Yeah, there you go. I keep going. Ah, wee! I, I hope each one of these makes some more points. All right, let's let's assume it doesn't. Uh, right, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Right, uh, slow down some more. Do we want to do it this lap or the next one? No, we're we're in position now. Okay. Do you have any notion of the direction of flight? Are you using the landmass to determine the direction of flight? You should be using these markers, you know. I'm just saying, ah, hold on, what's that pointing at? Well, that's, it's currently pointing due north. There is no north in space, but, uh, but that's how I like to think of it. Okay, right, so this yellow marker seems to be our flight angle there. Uh, can we, can I rotate the camera? No, 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 no. Yes, sort of. Yes, kind kind of. Wrote, no, no. Then, then no, no. Uh, look, I, I'm finding it very hard to get a read on on the situation here as it currently stands. Right. So if we've got that, and we, I'm assuming that we're flying that way. Uh, so if I now come about this way. Uh, Zeta Tiger. Right, so I think we're heading towards that one. And what we want to be doing is heading towards this one. All right, that should slow us down. Uh, if we get a little bit of down bubble at the same time, then uh, then that's all good. Right. Uh, whoop, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. There you go. A part of me thinks that you know what I would, I would, I would do far better if I had my joystick plugged in. Right, uh, let's just do it. Let's see what happens. There you go. Full thrust. There you go. Right now, then, is that having the kind of impact that we'd hoped for? Yes, it is. Right. Okay. That's that's enough to get us to come in. Cut the engines. Oh, wow, well, it's too late for that. Okay. Well, best get rid of that bit then. Um, okay, right, well, I've done everything right, ish, sorts of, if somewhat haphazardly, uh, but uh, what more do you expect? And, uh, and we are now, we're going to, oh, there's a, there's a potential. No, it's not. We're not going to scuff the atmosphere before we come in. Uh, what's going to happen here? Tell you what, have a quick look at this. Uh, uh, yep, what do you reckon? Oh, oh, brilliant, brilliant science there, Gov, Chief, Boss. Okay, thank you. Uh, you so yes, haphazard it may be, but we are actually going to come in. But the, the only problem that we've got there is that we're going to be coming in really quickly, and uh, and therefore a heat shield would have been would have been a smart move. Something's already having a having a moment. Let's hope it's just the mystery goo, or is it the thermometer? Whatever it is, we better we better. Oh look, flipping neck. If I can keep that, we get seven point two science. If we live, uh, log the pressure data. No, I would have thought you being destroyed would be uh, would be the kind of thing we need to understand there. Maybe I should have waited and observed the mystery. In fact, reset the mystery group. Yeah, let's reset it while we're coming into atmosphere. Observe the mystery group. Still only 0.5. Oh, that's barely worth it. There we go. Right, things are heating up. We're not slowing down yet. Everything here bodes badly. Um, now, I'm, I, we're just going to have to wait and use the power. Why did I even think that while in the thinnest of thin atmospheres? Because it was a drogue shoot. And I thought, you know what? Maybe it might just take the heat off things rather than burning all the parachutes. 
If I can keep any of that data, that would be super. No, no. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna, to... Yeah, okay. The sound, sound barrier, right? That was an atmospheric bang. That It wasn't anything important falling off. Yes. And I'll tell you something else, Hado. You had better... You had better be a level one astronaut after this. I don't, I don't want to go through another flaming orbital flight with you until I've got an agenda that I feel capable of actually succeeding on. All right, if we lose all the science bits on the way down, which given the speed that we're doing feels quite likely, um, then so be it. The important bit is that we walk away from this one with an experienced astronaut. Uh, yeah, I have come in at, at the sort of angle that says, yeah, you're going to be going really fast for an extended period of time. Uh, I have, haven't I? Reset the mystery goo. What? Yeah, we want to uh, we want to look at the mystery goo while it's on fire. No, nah, that's not worth anything. What about the temperature gauge? We did. Did we do pressure? Uh, log pressure data. Overwrite the no no we had we had a good scan on there previously what was the bit that we didn't have and I got a thermometer on here somewhere that would be the kind of information that people might pay good money for we're still doing 1900 meters a second yeah I've chosen a very shallow angle to come in at which means that everything is under incredible amounts of heat fundamentally uh, how are you doing in there Hado he seems to be quite happy I'm not going to send you out for an EVA just yet. We'll give it another five minutes and see what happens. Oh crikey! Well, I've not tried this before either. So this is a this is a day of firsts. Uh, the first thing that we did for the first time was uh, was deploy the shoots while still on fire. Pro tip: doesn't work. Uh, second thing that we're trying to do is uh, is come in at the shallowest angle possible without any kind of heat shielding. Well. I'm no, I know. I'm not even going to say it. I was going to say something there, but I'm not going to say anything at all because uh, I know all about Madam Fate and the tempting that, that you can do. There, we're no longer on fire. Okay, maybe we'll be all right. Yep, I reckon we're okay now. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Uh, right, let's uh, let's up the tempo a bit because we ain't got all day. And uh, and then come in for a bit of glory. Now, the reason that I wanted to get Hado uh, up a level is but I, I want to muck around with a space plane. Um, I don't think I am in any way equipped to be going, oh, let's go to the moon. I want to go to the moon, but not until my pilot has done something a little bit more. Now, space planes, they sound like they might be less complicated in some fashion. I'm not sure I believe that. Uh, but... Uh, what I'm, what they should be able to do is get Felomy lad a little bit more experience. Uh, you're just going to have to suck it up and do some proper orbital manoeuvring and that kind of business. You know you want to build a space station, uh, so why don't you just get on with that? Just keep flying stuff up there, learn how to make it all meet up while in the air, and uh, and you know just see how much junk you can fly up into uh, into a space station. Why don't you do that? Uh, seven six now i think i might have left that a bit late what were you even thinking what were you thinking oh for crying out loud well i killed him in the first mission parachute's still okay look um yeah what was i thinking why why would you say why would you think that 500 meters was the right altitude at which to deploy the chute i don't think halo made it i'll be honest i don't i don't think he walked away from this one still what does this teach us? Well, it teaches us very, very simply uh, that Bob is basically bulletproof. Um, Bob caused me to cheese it earlier on, and therefore he survives. He sat this one out where Hado ended up splattered into the rocks, and that's, yeah, yeah Bob is maybe the root of all evil. I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, this series exists because you support it. Now, while what, in between now and the next one, I shall get a new pilot and I will get one point of experience into them. And then we'll do something that you haven't seen before. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty certain you haven't seen this before. And for what? I don't know. What is, what's even wrong with me? Go to the Space Center. 
<sighs> it's fun, though. Well, yeah, it is, but you're running out of money. You're going to have to do something to make some cash. Otherwise, your, your, your space empire is going to be knackered. Uh, I'll catch up with you next week. Thanks for watching. Cheerio!